I want to invite you to sail with me for a week in Greece this summer. We will be nine international friends sailing around the Greek islands, seeking turquoise waters, enjoying the local cuisine and experiencing local culture. The question is, are you in? So it's been some 12 hours traveling in total and I'm falling in Sofia, but this is what I got to deal with now. A property irregularity report. I hope they find my luggage because we're leaving tomorrow to Greece for the sailing trip. We're in a shopping mall <laughs> in Sofia and we are, uh... We decided that the trip so far was pretty boring and we wanted to do some shopping. No, I'm kidding. We're basically... We, we, gotta, we gotta buy my buy my shorts and buy my swim trunks and everything. Guys, that's 15... 15 dollars? No. 15 left. That's 8 euro. 8 dollars, basically. What do you guys think? Meanwhile. 7, 8. Yeah, we got some hat, swim trunks. All right, we've just shopped. I have now one week's worth of clothing, toiletries, everything. Thank you so much, Nick, for, for doing this. And hopefully now we can meet up with our friends, have a nice dinner before we set sail tomorrow uh, off to the uh, Greek islands. Long time no long see. Long time man. no see. Long time no see. So this is Camille from uh, Netherlands. Amsterdam. Amsterdam. Yes. Uh, this is. I'm Kareem. Vienna. Vienna. Okay. Yes. We got a very international crew here. Yeah. yeah. This is Juan from Colombia. This is Arnaud from uh, from the Netherlands. Jonathan from Germany. I'm Elena from Italy. Hi, I'm Anjali from India, but I live in the Netherlands. Guys, we've got a, such an international audience, and I'm super excited to to do this. Cheers, hey guys. Enjoy everyone. Happy trip! Thank you, Nick. This is a platter of meats and potatoes. So this is chicken. This is a huge pork skewer. We have beef tenderloins, I think, here on the side. And this is actually lamb, oh, nice. lamb sausages. So this, the sausages in Bulgarian, they're called sujuk. And then the skewer, it's called shashlik. Guys, we're at the Greek border and uh, this guy over there has to walk to the car, walk back to his office, and then walk to the car, walk back to his office. Yeah, it's not very efficient. We are in Kavala, Greece. Beautiful sunny day. This is our boat for the upcoming week. It's a Beneto, 46 feet, and the name of it is Painkiller. What a better name. Welcome on board. Two cabins at the front. We have one big cabin, double cabin, and then we have one cabin uh, which is bunk bed. Two other cabins at the back, at the two sides. Mm -hmm. We also have two bathrooms with showers, heads with showers. That's one of them, the shower is on the right. Have a toilet. This is the kitchenette space. This is the fridge. We have water. This is the stove. And this is the table, which we basically don't use. I mean, we never eat inside unless it's raining and it's stormy. Evening came sooner than we thought. As we unpacked, bought supplies and groceries, and settled into our new home for the next five days, our captain, Nick, kicked off the trip with a crew briefing. Uh, as you can see, this is the main cockpit area. This is where we're going to be spending most of the time when we are on our way. At the front, there is an amazing sun deck, so to say, which we can use at any time. Well, we're all very excited as to what's to come. It has been a long day. Soon enough, we're all dozing off to the gentle waves. All right, guys, we are finally off after a day of preparation and we're heading towards a beautiful 
turquoise beach. As we sailed towards Tassos in our three hour journey, I took the time to ask a skipper how he got into sailing. I grew up part of my life uh, in Greece, northern part of Greece, where uh, my grandfather was living for a while. I was spending some of the summers uh, here. I was also going there with friends. So like sea was always close to me and I always loved sea. 2016, um, in September, a friend of mine said, oh man, I just got the skipper certification. Uh, let's go on a boat for the weekend. I'm like, where? He said, in Greece. We found five friends, we got on the boat, and we had some of the most magnificent time on it. And the rest is history, basically. I got my skipper certification. What I love about sailing is a few things. But first, it teaches you patience, it teaches you respect to nature around you, it teaches you to be humble many times and uh, try to work with the forces around you. Another thing I like about sailing is that you are far away from the destructions of the world, so to say. So you're not at the beach where everyone is screaming, kids running around you, you know, have the music from the beach bar. It's basically up to you where you go. It's up to you in which bay you drop an anchor. It's up to you whom you get on the boat. So you have this peacefulness and quietness that you can enjoy, be with your thoughts, be with the people that you like, and just enjoy life uh, with its simple things. A I good drink, it. a nice meal, a good swim in a nice turquoise bay and just enjoy it. What are we having for breakfast? We are having very tasty cereals, <laughs> yogurt, oats and some fruits. It's delicious. Very, very um, lucky also. Nick knows the charter company, which obviously makes this trip a lot more affordable. The rental itself, we, we got this for what, four, four nights? It's 300 euros per person. Um, so a lot more, I think, approachable than what people think. Obviously, you gotta find a great group of people, which we have here, super international crowd, as you guys saw, and I'm just so pumped to really experience sailing in its fullest. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're making some mimosas here in the beautiful sea in the morning. Nice. We're gonna pair it with some very, very nice uh, coffee that we just made in our stove with the mocha. So we've arrived at the turquoise water that Nick promised. We're gonna be dropping an anchor and uh, going for a swim in just a bit. So clear. Nice. See the fish. Yeah, the plan is to make some great reps, vegetarian option and um, meat option with yes, them. Yes. And so now we're preparing, cutting everything. Yes. Um, gonna grill it here. Okay. Um, as we're in Greece, uh, every dish should include halloumi. Very yes. important. Yeah. Alrighty. The first one. Woo! Kitchen. They say it's very good. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Thank you. But then just enjoy it now. Maybe. The hair. Guys, you know what maximum relaxation is? This this is basically it. Honestly, Nick Nick said, you know, you're gonna forget everything, right? When you come here, uh, he is absolutely right because, boy, when you when you are in the water, when you're just swimming around, you just you know you don't care about anything else. It's just basically it's all about relaxing and uh, having a good time. And uh, come say something, man. You gotta come in, come in the come in the frame, say something. Hi. The thing I want to say is that hold on, captain, hold on. Captain, yeah, okay. I, I told these guys that it's gonna be like this. <laughs> they didn't believe me, but now they do. Yeah, it's it's amazing. Yeah.
Oh, please, one moment. <laughs> Cut your seat. One more, one more. One more. <laughs> As the sun sets, we docked at Limenaria, a small village on the island's southwest coast. It gave us an opportunity to step off and experience the local culture. Yeah, this guy knows everybody at the restaurant, the owners, all, this, all the people. Apparently he grew up coming here, it's fantastic. And I can't believe, we're sitting in, in the middle of the street, there is no menu, they just we arrived, they're like, okay, we will bring out what you need. So we will see how this is. This is the theory. This is the this is the person. This is the guy. This is the guy. He's come all over the world. Guys, big guys. Big guys. <laughs> all over the world to visit you. It's here, that's everybody. Who is from Vancouver? Vancouver. He's from Toronto. Canada. Canada. Toronto. 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 Uh, Toronto. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> More fried fish. Yep. Can you bring another can do this. And uh, shark. shark. What? Uh, oh, it's a baby, oh, shark. baby shark. <laughs> baby shark. <laughs> Sarde. These are sardines. The ouzo kept on flowing and the food kept on coming. Everything was fresh. Everything was delicious. We were so stuffed. I mean, what a life. Yeah, here, here, perfect, thank you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, uh, I think, okay, if perfect. you want something else, perfect. Yeah. you tell me, perfect. okay? Okay, yeah. okay. <laughs> As I ate, I couldn't stop thinking about this incredible moment. It's been a hectic start with the luggage fiasco, but at the end of the day, it's this. It's the little things that count. The crunch of the fried sardines, the cheers and the clinking of glasses, and most importantly, new and old friends to share these things with. A huge thank you to Nick for putting this trip together. It truly is a memorable night that I'll never forget. And cheers to many more nights just like this. Cheers, Nick.